All right, so what do you think about this idea? Banning cigarettes. It's actually the idea that is now being backed by the British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. Now, the possibility would only apply to those in England who are born after 2008. So 14 years old or younger, 14, 15, 16, et cetera, you're, you're fine. But anyone 14 or younger, that's where it would kick in. He says it would create Britain's, Britain's first modern free smoke generation. So this is being endorsed by one of the biggest politicians on the planet. Yeah. Got me thinking, would something like this, would, it, would a politician of that level or a political party at, at, here in the U.S. sort of ever move in that direction? If you value the health and safety of young people and the overall health and safety and the medical costs that come from smoking, then I think, yes, remember, he's not banning, the Prime Minister of Britain is not banning the product, which would be much harder even in Britain. What he's saying is he's going to raise the age limit for those who are able to use that product, and he's basically starving the demand yeah, over out a period of time. time. And I can see that happening in the U.S., compelling state interest, the health and safety reasons, not attacking the, the product so that the lobbyists could well, get Well, that's where I was going, that. lobbying. Well, I don't, I mean, lobbyists aside, but I'll right. say there's one thing I don't, you know, I'm not a Gen Z or I'm not a post millennial, but if there's one thing I know they love, it's being told what they can and cannot do by Gen <laughs> X. So, <laughs> right. what, what, I'd be skeptical. I mean, we're not even prosecuting, you know, violent offenders now. So, we're going to ban cigarettes and what then go after and, and start prosecuting some of the people who would do it. Every time we try this nanny state stuff, it just drives up the black market. So, so here, here's but why. Not, that wouldn't be the approach. The approach would be you have to be old enough to 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 uh, to buy those cigarettes and at some point in time you cut off the demand by saying anyone over 14 here's can't why buy they're anymore. doing it they say there's 64,000 deaths per year in that area and it would save basically 21 billion dollars uh, a year to, to the health system they say there's a, a public you know public health cost on, on several different levels with this. I, I agree with the health benefits I agree with the health savings I'm just you know the American spirit does not like the government to tell us what they can <laughs> and can't do American spirit. and what's that <laughs> <laughs> and well, I just think I, I, just, for lung I just don't see it working they, here. That's the American spirit, at least when it comes to cigarettes and stuff. I mean, listen, at some point in time, we've got to have a compelling interest for health and safety. The syntax won't work. People can do they, their free will is more powerful than anything. But at the same time, it costs us twenty billion dollars a year, at least in Britain, it does for to engage in this sinful conduct quote, sinful conduct, and something's got to give. I could see raising the age limit and attacking the demand working in the U.S., depending on who's in the House, of course, the Senate and the White House. I don't know. I, I lived in the U.K. for two years uh, for grad school right after college, and, and I do Where agree haven't you been? <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Like, uh, peripatetic ways. Yeah. But when it when it comes to, you know, the nanny state, as Bill so aptly, uh, appropriately described, Brit they're, they're used to this much more, more than we are, especially look at their draconian free speech laws. Uh, Prince Harry famously questioned the validity of the, the First Amendment. You know, free speech, what, you know, what is that? It kind of, when he came to America, which we were all kind of scratching our heads, hey, it's different here. Can you blame um, so, the kid, though? <laughs> fair, <laughs> what fair. have done to his family? Yeah, exactly. But, but they're, they're a different constitution over there. So I, I do think they're, you know, despite COVID and, and some of those measures that were much more authoritarian than we Americans were used to, I, I do think there is a different appetite for that kind of thing among our populace versus what right. goes on in the well, on the Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.